Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Gardener. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. So guys, today we'll be discussing about a succulent that is very, very easy, basic, hardy and does not require a lot of care. And today we are talking about Sedum Adolfi. Now guys, this is one of my favorite succulents. I know I keep saying this in every other video, but guys, this particular variety of succulent is very dearest to me because when I started my succulent collection almost a six and a half to seven years back so if you're gonna ask me which was the first succulent that you got so this is the one i had got sedum adolfi and at that point of time i didn't even realize that the collection is going to go so far uh, i'm going to go so far in this journey with succulents because i thought that okay it's just one succulent and i'm going to be done but over the period of time i just started increasing my collection so this has been the one that has been with me so far i have been uh, propagating it i've been doing leaf propagation stem cutting i have been multiplying applying it so much that I have so many sedum adolfies but you never tend to get bored out of it you never tend to fall out of love for them the reason is because they have this really vibrant yellow to orange color the more amount of light you give it the more intense the color tends to get I'm going to put up the picture how it tends to look when it is completely stressed now uh, talking about the requirements the care tips as I said it is the most easiest succulent that you can have if I have to give you an example then I would say if you're starting a succulent collection then this is the entry level succulent basically it is so simple that you do not need to do much the only thing that you have to keep in mind is the light it requires a good amount of light the more the light the much better I would suggest if you have a place wherein you tend to receive a good morning direct sunlight for five to six hours it is going to work out really well for this succulent please do not keep the succulent indoor it tends to stretch really fast as soon as it feels that the light is less it immediately starts to stretch so ensure that you place it in a spot where it either is receives morning direct sunlight for five to six hours or indirect bright light now guys what i have noticed during the winters they can even handle an hour or so of afternoon direct sunlight provided that the succulent is acclimated very well otherwise the leaves will get burnt because a lot of times you might have seen some of the sedum varieties uh, the tips tend to get burnt out because of excess strong sunlight so if you belong to a place wherein your afternoon sunlight is really very strong then avoid putting them out in afternoon direct sunlight i usually tend to give them afternoon direct sunlight only during the winters because it's a little bit cooler but other than that during summers i do not expose them to afternoon direct sunlight so in that way you can see they can handle slightly higher intensity of light as well now talking about soil again as i said it's quite an easy succulent it's not very fussy related with soil but again you have to ensure that the soil has to be loose and well draining that is the most important part you cannot let the soil be soggy wet otherwise it will rot but like other succulents they need really gritty soil they need very porous loose soil over here it's not much of a concern they tend to do well in any soil provided that the soil is well draining and doesn't get too compact talking about watering again it is a drought tolerant succulent which means that it can handle under watering but again guys do not go to an extreme level of under watering otherwise the leaves will start to fall so they tend to do quite well even if they are under watered but ensure that you do not over water them so wait for the soil to be completely dry even if you notice that uh, let's say 80 to 90 percent of the soil is dry you can go ahead and water it they're not very fussy like other succulents wherein if there is a little bit of moisture they tend to rot these guys can still do quite well but ensure that doesn't mean that you're going to water them every other day because at the end of the day it is a variety of succulents and does not like to be overwatered. When it comes to fertilizers, if you do not add any nutrients or fertilizers, it's absolutely fine. They will still grow healthy because they do not prefer to have an organic rich soil. They prefer a soil that is less organic or nutrient lean. They will do absolutely fine even if you do not add any fertilizers. But if you still want to go ahead and use it, then only use fertilizers during the winter season, which is their active growing season because sedums are summer dormant. Now, to be honest, uh, growing 
Sedum at all for you all these years. I never actually had any issues with Pest. I haven't seen any mealy bugs or any kind of insects that have been attacking. Probably I have seen uh, some getting overwatered and getting rotted. But apart from that, I haven't seen any mealy bugs that have infested a uh, Sedum Adolfi. Probably because the leaves are very thick, um, they are very hard. So it becomes a little difficult for the mealy bugs to, you know, suck up the juices from the leaves. So probably that could be one of the reasons. But again, guys, it completely depends upon the environment and the climate. At times, some people still have a uh, mealy bug infestation or mealy bug attacks on certain plants that are are quite resilient to mealybugs so again it completely depends if you tend to see that there are mealybugs you can go an organic way you can either brush it off or you can use some cinnamon powder or whatever organic solution you have been using all this while and which has worked out for you Propagation is very simple when it comes to sedum adolfi. You can do a leaf propagation which tends to work out much faster compared to other succulent leaf propagation. You can do a stem cutting, you can do beheading, you can even separate the offsets once they reach a decent size. Now as you can see over here I had done some stem cuttings and just like other succulents as I said when you tend to do a stem cutting the main part where you have cut the stem will not have a continuous growth but the pups will start growing around the cut as you can see over here uh, the cuts have turned darker because they have been healed and then the pups start to grow around it so this is how they tend to grow I have done a lot of propagation with sedum adolfi they have always been very successful probably out of 10 probably one might have not made it through but usually you have a 99% of a success rate when it comes to leaf propagation stem cutting beheading separating of the offsets all tends to work out really well now guys over here uh, i had made a previous video on a uh, bottom watering if you remember it was uh, around two months back wherein i had this tray of uh, these sedum adolfi succulents you can see these were uh, stem cuttings that i had put in the soil and they were kept to dry you can see how small they were over here and you can see with just a few plants i was able to do a stem cutting and you can see the number of uh, cuttings that I have over here you can see how quickly you can increase your collection with sedum adolfi and guys these succulents tend to work out really well in any of the arrangements at times our arrangements tend to look slightly dull or at times we feel that there is not much color in an arrangement let's say that your arrangement looks very blue or your arrangement tends to look very green you just add one of a sedum adolfi cutting and you'll be able to see how much of difference it tends to do because these are really really brightly colored succulents so guys this is how the sedum adolfi cuttings look right now so the earlier clip was two months back and this is how they tend to look they have lost the color because as i said there is not much sunlight it's very cloudy we are in the monsoon season so there is not much light hence you can see they have started to turn green in color so very soon we'll be entering in the winter season i'm pretty excited about winter season because this gives me a chance to expose my uh, succulents for longer hours of sunlight so usually i tend to expose them until 10 30 11 a.m in the morning and now when the winter set in the temperatures tend to get cooler i tend to expose them until 12 to 12 30 even that one to two hours also tends to make a lot of difference so i'm pretty excited i'm sure very soon these uh, sedum adolfis which are almost pale green in color will start to brighten up as soon as i start giving them morning direct sunlight and talking about cleaning guys it's pretty simple it's always better to clean your succulents you just need a soft bristled makeup and then just very very gently try to brush it off now guys always remember sedums be it any varieties whether whether it's a sedum adolfi or sedum donkey tail uh, any type of sedums now what i have noticed is sedums have very delicate leaves especially when they are stretched or when they do not receive a lot of light the leaves of sedums tend to get very weak with the slightest touch that tends to fall off you might have experienced with sedum donkey tails when you tend to touch the leaves they tend to fall immediately this is one of the reason related with light the more light you give the much stronger the leaves stay with the stem 
so you need to be very gentle while cleaning as you can see over here use a soft bristled makeup brush and do a dry cleaning now guys never ever use water to clean i have seen people using a jet spray to clean the soil or the dust from the succulents remember guys that can harm your succulents if there are succulents with farina the farina will get damaged you have to be extremely careful all you have to do is just gently brush it off if you feel that the soil is not coming off the leaf is absolutely fine you can leave it as it is because it's usually the lower leaves that tend to uh, have these soil marks it's absolutely fine because the new growth is going to be all good if you want to clean it you can just use a gentle brush if it doesn't come off just leave it as it is please do not damage your succulent by rubbing the leaves with a tissue or something like that because overall it is going to damage and when you tend to put pressure on the leaves either the leaves will break also it is going to disturb the roots as well so be very careful whenever you're handling succulents they can be very gentle you do not need to put in a lot of pressure if the soil is on the low leaf just leave it as it is it's absolutely fine that's about it as i said this is a very easy succulent i call it as an entry level succulent for beginners because one it is very beautiful it has that intense color apart from that it is very very easy to take care it's easy to propagate does not have a lot of requirements especially related with soil so it's one of the succulent that you can add in your collection apart from that if you have arrangements that tend to look slightly boring adding one or two of these cuttings can completely change the look of your arrangement so before I end the video, there is another important thing that I want to point out to and that is called as dry stem because a lot of people tend to ask me what's happening to the succulent. Now guys over here, this is an example of a dry stem. Now this usually happens when your sedum adolfi has been stretched for a really long time. Over the period of time, the base of the stem will dry out. This is not rot, but this is drying out. But there is nothing to be worried because as I said, this is an easy succulent. It is going to make your life easy. When the stem starts to dry from the base, the succulent will start putting out a lot of aerial roots. As you can see over here, the amount of aerial roots on the sedum adolfi. The reason is because the main stem has dried out. There is no purpose of that stem. It's always better to separate the dry stem out and try to cut off the stem wherever you tend to see that the stem is fresh now because it already has aerial roots there is nothing much you need to be worried the only important thing is you have to let the cut callus and then put it in dry soil wait for three to four days and then give a little bit of water now this is very very simple because we already have established aerial roots that is going to help the succulent grow up probably for a couple of days the succulent will look dehydrated because as you know the main stem was dried out there was not much water it put out aerial roots so that it could absorb water from the moisture and that water is not enough for the succulent to sustain that is the reason why you tend to see it very wrinkled and dehydrated but once you let the stem callus and then you put it into the soil after a couple of weeks it will start to get better it will start looking much more fresh and well hydrated so guys i hope that this video on sedum adolfi was helpful to you if it was please hit the like button if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep propagating